Hello everybody and uh, welcome to this milestone presentation on what is new in uh, SplitTNG step 2.2. Today I'm going to introduce uh, the new different stock allowance topic. So <clears throat> different stock allowance is a new feature available in free for feature editor and consequently in some free mold uh, free access cycle uh, which allows to get specific stock allowance only in particular phase of, um, of a part. So let's go and, uh, and see it. So here I have this uh, part which is uh, an electrode and uh, as you know uh, usually electrodes are cut uh, using uh, negative allowance. Uh, this negative allowance will then compensate uh, uh, the gap uh, inside the EDM process. So, so my goal here is to get a negative allowance all around uh, this body but not on this bottom face. Uh, so <clears throat> this is doable. Let's see how this does it work. So I go on feature and in the freeform feature editor. So I go and I select the complete solid. Now, as I told you, I want to define a negative allowance of 0 0.1 millimeter on this. So I select the solid again, right click, and I see this new capability stock allowance. So here uh, in the values, I set minus 0 0.1 for the wall and same minus 0 0.1 from the floor and as soon as I set up the OK um, I get uh, this nice overview of the set allowances. So as I told before I don't want any um, allowance instead on the bottom floor this plane here. So what I do, I just select this. Actually this is sufficient because if I just select uh, it means that it has zero and zero. But I, if I want to be sure I see that the other one is zero for both wall and floor and I okay, but this is not, in this case, zero and zero are not viewed, but, but they are there. So uh, you need to take care about this. And, uh, and also another rule that I apply here, let's say that <clears throat> I have a complete solid, but on a face of the same solid, I need a different values for other ones. So if I select a face uh, and set different values for the other ones, uh, those set for the face win respect the values I set for the complete solid. So this is done and so I can uh, validate and so in this moment I am ready to, to cut. I can apply any strategy of those that support uh, uh, the different allowance, which are not all the uh, freeform uh, cycle. So let's go back to our presentation. I will show you some general rules of the stock allowance. So first rule is that the values you set in the free for feature are algebraically summed to those set in the operation. So let's say that uh, for, <clears throat> for the solid I had before, I set a minus 0 
but then in the operation I set the plus 0 0.1, the result is 0, so no allowance. Uh, then, <clears throat> if you, this is what we have just seen now, if you select a solid and apply an allowance on it, and then you select a face of that same solid and apply another allowance value, then the allowance set for the face is applied uh, on that face, while for all the other faces, those of the solid, uh, the value set for the solid will be applied. Now, let's see uh, for which mode cycles uh, do support uh, different stock allowance. So the cycle are the roughing, the Z-level finishing, parallel plane finishing, radial finishing, spiral finishing, concentric finishing, floor finishing, global finishing, and 3D contouring. While instead, mold cycles that do not support different stock allowance are corner machining, pencil tracing, between curves finishing, Auto tilt, this means that if you try to apply an auto tilt on, a, on every uh, three axis cycle, then you, it will not be supported. And all the five axis cycle are not supported. So uh, when <clears throat> you try to apply a cycle not supported DSA on, uh, on a free for feature that has some values for uh, DSA for allowances, uh, then an error is, is triggered in, uh, for the operation. So this is all for my side and uh, for any question please feel free to contact us. Thank you!